Alright, I'm back. Let's see here. We were running from Skizzerman. Right. Where to run to? Oh, then we've done stuff and I wonder if there's anything in the artifact room I can run into. And this is the reading room actually, so yep, I just screwed that up. Nope, get out of here. Ooh, what are you doing here? You just got kicked. That was a groin shot, I'm pretty sure. Right in the groin. What do we got? What do we got? Whoa! How did you get in here magically? Well, I'm gonna head to the artifact room now. Okay. Or the collect collection room. Nothing else to throw at him in here? Okay. Go! Come on! You just let him catch on up with you right there. Oh, a sword! Nah, let's just stab him with the sword. Awesome. I like it. I like it. Okay. We can now leave. Well, actually, we probably need to go check upstairs again. Because now Ed, well, Edward was supposed to be up there, but now Scissor Man's gone from there, at least. Unless it just redoes that entire scenario, then I'm just going to be like, what? What? Okay, so is there anything I can click here? I can check you out. Good. Operation panel of the big clock. Something is written on it. You have discovered hint number seven. That's a pile of blood for Mr. Sullivan. Where did his body go? No one will ever know. It is covered with rust. Okay, so what we really need to do then is try and get out of here. That would be the good game plan. I actually want to walk because she's actually starting to lose stamina right there. She's in panic mode a little bit. We're turning yellow. Alright, we can investigate books. What books are there to investigate? Many encyclopedias. Okay, nothing important then. Anything here? I don't have time to read these books. There are blood, red stains on these books. Blood? Okay, so nothing there. What are you? That is a dead librarian. A magazine. Smile of the model on the cover looks fake. I'm still looking for hints, so I don't know if you have to, like, check them twice or anything. Well, Edward's gone. It doesn't seem possible. There were so many people here a moment ago. Alright, let's look at dead librarian chick. She's the library clerk I just saw. Hello, scissor man. Out the door we go. Hide under the desk. Hide, Helen, hide! Perhaps even become a Helen in a box. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like the sound of this. Okay. Seems safe, actually. 
I'm gonna investigate some things back here. Anything to investigate? Investigate? Plant it doesn't seem useful, okay? Well, we can go through that door. Let's let's actually see if that door works first. I'm I'm gonna imagine that we just can't go through the front door. That would be too easy. I've been locked in. Thought so. We're gonna have to go back here. What have we got back here? I don't like the look of that. It's probably a rat. This is gonna scare me. I'm gonna jump either way. Fine line. Files line the shelves. Okay. Files line the shelves. Nothing else you gotta say? No hints? We gonna get another fax over there? Anything on here? Everything seems normal here. There's nothing that seems useful. Clerical desk in perfect order. I'll bet everyone has gone home. A rather primitive copier. They are obviously having budgetary problems here too. Just like at the university. Now do I even dare to go back into that back corner? Quick answer, yes. Check it out, Helen. Oh, I'm probably gonna jump at something really simple. What's up with you? I thought you'd still be here. It's not Edward. Oh, it is Edward. It's dangerous here. Come with me. It is Edward. Edward? You hide under this table until I call you. Be a good boy, and don't worry. Yeah. We'll make it. Uh, okay. That still doesn't help me figure out how to get out of the building. Foreign books. Um, hmm. How do I get out of here? How do I get... Uh, I guess we should probably check the, the library now that that shelf's been knocked over. The librarian probably has the key to the front door. That is my guess. Anything new? Doesn't seem possible. There's so many... Yeah, is there anything new here? Apparently not. Okay. Magazine. It looks fake, okay. And I can't go- okay, I was about to say, I can't go through this door, really? Oh. Police car siren is heard. Someone must have called the police. Good, good, good. Let us in! Door cannot be opened. Many policemen are swarming out around outside looking for a way in. There are so many people. Just on the out other side of the door. Come on! Help us! I'll go get Edward. Or no, we can go up into the clock tower real quick. If I go up into the clock tower, I can... Oh, but that's dangerous. I could probably tell... Tell them through the, the clock tower window that we can't find a way out. But then again, my head could get chopped off. It's a possibility. He's in the reading room. I wonder if we have to talk to Edward. Let's talk to Edward. Edward? 
Edward should be hiding under the table. Even if only him. He must escape from here. Okay. So we can't grab him. We're going to have to go up. I think we'll probably have to go to the clock tower, stick our head out, and be like, Hey, we need help in here. Or something. I don't know. We don't have any other keys, do we? No. Did not think so. Well, let's check this out. Anything? Some giant clock. Let's cover with rust. Do we use the oil can? Is that a thing in here? No. Okay. I don't see anything else of importance. We'll go this way. Hmm. <laughs> what to do, what to do, what to do. I'll investigate in here again. Perhaps he has the library key or something? Everything is normal. That's just a trash can. Personal computer. Read some of the books. Check his artifacts. fact, I almost think they're probably going to have me go back to the room where we found Edward. And then there's going to be something where he... Or not. Or we're just going to run right into Scissor Man. Hello! Help me, police officers. I'm being chased by a scissor-wielded maniac. I don't even know what to do. Uh, this way. Come on. I I still like how like being chased by Scissor Man still takes time to like just slow down, open the door, and then continue on. Now then, will he even come in here though? No, you don't want to hide there. Don't hide in the same area. No, no, no. I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. You are so dead. Sorry, Helen. I, I clicked in the wrong place. Yep, she's dead. You are so dead. Really? Look, I'm trying to find a way out. I just can't. I'm having trouble. I've been locked in. Gotta find a way out. I'm having trouble. What do we have in here, then? Let's check that back desk. There are some forms and loan cards on the table. Okay. Nothing important, then. Yeah, yeah, budget problems. Hmm. What do I need to do? I am lost. Files line the shelves. Files line the shelves. 
So that's not in here then. But where is it? Where do I need to go? Please help us. Computer for managing the library. I hope it is networked to the outside. Plant doesn't seem useful. I hope it's networked to the outside, so use it. You said it was a computer. And now she'll she'll only target the plant. Okay. Well, that's nice. That's always useful. Computer for managing the library. I hope it is networked to the outside. Do you want to use the computer? No. No, you don't. Okay. Well, that's always good. Okay, I am lost. I am lost. Lost, 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 lost. I don't have a key. What to do, what to do, what to do. <laughs> I don't have time to read these books. Well, I really don't know what to do. I'm drawing blanks. No, no, no senses are tingling here. I just, I'm lost. What to do, what to do. I'm going to imagine there's no change in here. Foreign books. Why do we still have the pliers now that I think about it? Reference materials. Oh, oh. Event. Cover the wire screen. That's it. Edward could fit through here. He's small. If I could just get the screen off. Use pliers. Yes. Cover with a wire screen. That's with screw. That's it. Edward could fit through here. He's small. I use the... I use the wire cutters. I couldn't find anything else. So I have to find a screwdriver? That's what I'm assuming. Maybe it's in the artifact room. I'll just look again. Artifact room. Let's take a look. Nothing important in here. To the collection room. Hopefully Mr. Scissorman doesn't feel like interrupting us again. Ancient swords. Other valuable artifacts. No, no, I just want to go to this side of the room. Yeah, yeah, it's very interesting. Go. No, I just want on this side of the room. Quit staring at the giant statues. Okay, she's not interested at all. So there's nothing in here. How to get Edward through there?
What are you? It won't turn on. Okay. Just a light switch. What to do, what to do, what to do? For a moment, I thought that I heard the music coming on. But no, we're good. What do I do? Do I use the pliers on you? No, okay. So there's nothing up here. What do I do? Uh, let's check behind the office again. Or behind the front desk. Yep, to the front desk. Come on, Helen. Siren's still going off. Yep, still can't get that computer working. Through the door. Is there a screwdriver anywhere? Everything seems normal here. Nothing seems useful. Wonder if there's something useful here. There we go. Screwdriver in one of the drawers. You now have the screwdriver. Thank you. So now we'll just go back over to where Edward's at in the reading room. And Edward will be able to go outside. And we'll be able to escape. Onward. I want to hurry up because I don't want to run into Scissor Man again. I'm out of hiding places because I don't think that will work a third time. I'm not sure why it worked twice, but hiding behind that desk I don't think will work a third time. And he'll probably be sitting in here, right? No, okay. So we're still fine. Screwdriver on little vent. All good. Come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. Okay, I will. So we saved Edward. That still doesn't help me much, actually. Well... I guess we could use his hiding place. More the old desk used by many researchers. Okay. Yeah, that didn't really help much at all. Do I still have the? Yeah, we still have the screwdriver. Don't know what to use it on, but I guess we'll just go to the front desk. Unless maybe we can use it on the clock tower. Make some bells ring. Let's make some bells ring. Come on. Screwdriver on the operational device. Nope. Okay. Out we go. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is try the front door again and maybe Edward got him in. Somehow. Magically. Maybe, let's go check. Can't think of anything else I could use the screwdriver on. Oh, 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 cutscene. Maybe they got in? Yes, they got in! Hey, Teach, 
What's going on? Teach, hang in there. Whoo! Scenario two is cleared. We got the statue. We found out that it did. Well, no, oh, we didn't really find out. Well, she just read a book. Maybe it will be explained here in scenario. In the in between scenario. We're already at scenario three, so we're about done with the game, so. Uh, bleep, how many people does Scissorman have to kill? Alright, Teach, that's enough questioning. You can go home now. You can go on home now. Why, thank you. Where's Jennifer? Gods, I've learned something interesting about Scissor Man. You've got something? Yes, I know where the Barrow's Castle is. The Barrow's Castle? Yes, it's where the Barrow's family used to live. Before they emigrated here. Go on. I looked further and found an historical account saying that a monster was born in the castle. They must have somehow killed Scissor Man back then. Good point. So I am planning to go there. Are you crazy? It's way too dangerous. Question mark. It's way too dangerous? As long as... The, okay, I didn't even read that. Da, da, da. All right, but one thing. What's that? I'm going with you, okay? Gots. That's inspe assistant inspector to you. There's Rick's house. Rick's house. It just magically pops up there. Okay. Police station. We're just going to check things out real quick. Hey, my boss says I can go with you to England. He was really sarcastic about it, though. Okay. So, let's check. I think Jennifer said something about a newspaper reporter called Nolan. Oh, this might continue on the plot, actually. Oh, no. Excuse me, Miss Helen Maxwell. You have good timing. How so? Well, we've learned a bit of information. That you are going to England. Did you find a lead? How did you find out? Well, it was easy. The assistant inspector in charge of the case is going to England. So it was pretty easy guess. Well, I'll be. How about it? May we join you? I don't mind, but I don't know if Gots will like it. Hey, no problem. We're used to him yelling at us. Alright, see you at the airport first thing in the morning. We'll be there. See you in the morning. Very, very good. Okay. We're gonna have to figure out a way for Tim to live. That's all I'm saying. Edward seems to have come back safely. That's good, that's good. Edward, thank heaven you're alright. Yes, thank you, Miss Maxwell. Thank you very much, Miss Maxwell. By the way, we are thinking we should go back to the Granite Orphanage. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere that there might be danger. Oh, I see. We are going to England tomorrow. So I suppose this is goodbye. To England? Yes, we are going to a castle called the Barrows Castle. We are hoping to find some clues about Scissor Man. May I go too? No, you're going to the Granite Orphanage. Edward, what are you saying? He will probably kill me too if I stay here. That's why you're going to the orphanage. I want to go along and help. Uh, Edward, that is... Please, Kay? Well, alright then. Please look after him, Miss Maxwell. Hmm. Well, alright. We'll be the first flight tomorrow morning. So Kay's not coming along? If we're supposed to just be watching over him? The general public still should not be allowed to enter. He might still be in here. 
Professor Barton, Harris. We've just been to the scene of the murder. What a terrible thing to have happened. Yes, but one good thing came out of it. I now know where the Barrows used to live, in England, before immigrating here. I suppose that is where his home is? Yes, and I think I'll find some clues about him there. So what are you doing? What are you going to do now? I would like to go to England tomorrow. May I? Hmm, all right then, but our research staff will go with you. We may discover some material that will be important in the future. I suppose that will be okay. Very well then, I will go get ready. Okay. That is fine by me. Now, oh, let's go here. We'll talk to Beth, I guess. Hello, Jen Helen. Are you alright? Yes, I was able to get the statue. So we're talking to Jennifer, I guess. And I found a clue. Right, the inspector told me about going to the Barrow's Castle. Okay. Suddenly we got ten people going to England. Criminy, this is supposed to be serious business. I've got, I've contacted the police in England. And I've also arranged a rental car from the airport. Thank you, Gots. We're coming to get you, Scissor Man. This time you'll be going. You'll be doing the running. So are we going to England now, or? Yep. I didn't get to go home, but oh well. I imagine there wasn't much that we could have done there. To London. Then the final scenario. Well, that started glitching out. Why the... That didn't happen last time, did it? The sun is going down. Ah, yeah, my, my audio is glitching out a little bit. I'll try and figure that out here in a minute. Because actually, we've ran over time a little bit. Quite a bit, actually. So yeah, we're in the final scenario already. It would be dangerous to move about in the dark. Excuse me. Let's camp here. We're already in the final scenario. I hope we actually grabbed everything we would need. Strange, where is Jennifer? Teach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh, no. Jennifer is missing, too. They can't be missing. The castle. Hurry. Time to go get shoved in a box. Alright, well, like I said, last scenario, Scissor Man. That's really... Ooh, but wait a second. Okay, so we saw everyone go inside. Everyone's waiting. Oh, yes. Let me go get shoved in a box. No, this explains why there was no floor in here. Okay. It caved in. Ooh, what uh, They didn't even feel the need to pick you up. They legit just left Helen laying on the ground. I don't even know why she passed out, but, you know. They just left her there laying on the ground. You know, no big deal. No one cares. But, uh, yep, like I said, that's all that there's going to be for this episode. So, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please like it, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next episode, where we just might finish the game. So, I will see you all then.